Pick a move in the ring. You can hit me with the words you fling. All right, what's up, everybody? South China Morning Post here, SCMP Martial Arts at the Best Western Plus Wanda Grand Hotel. That's a mouthful in Bangkok, Thailand. I'm with the champ, Fabricio Andrade. He's looking for another belt this week when he takes on Jonathan Haggerty for the vacant bantamweight kickboxing belt. Fabricio, looking fresh, pink hair. How are you feeling? Feeling great, as always. What is this pink hair? You were telling me it matches your fight kit. Is there any other significance for it? Uh, I think I'm running out of colors, and also I gotta be a bit creative. You're not trying to copy uh, another bantamweight champion, Sean O'Malley, playing some mind games with him? Uh, no, really, <laughs> but I would like to fight him. Yeah, how do you think that one ever happens? If it, if it does happen, how does that go? I think it would be a great fight, but I would knock him out. Well, you're talking about knocking out another guy. You're talking about knocking out Jonathan Haggerty, the general, the bantamweight Muay Thai champion. You are the bantamweight MMA champion. A lot of people don't really understand your striking background, though. They don't know that you were Muay Thai and kickboxing before you ever went to MMA. Are they underestimating you, Fabricio? Yeah, not many people know. Uh, many of my fights was also in China, and China has a different way to deal with social media there. So not many people know about my kickbox career before uh, I come to one. But that's normal, you know. Uh, Hagri is uh, he got a big name in one, so that's normal. People are gonna underestimate me, but that doesn't bother me at all. He says you're lucky that there's gonna be no elbows. Uh, what do you say? <laughs> After that, I'm gonna fight him with elbows. I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna elbow his face. <laughs> Well, I was, I was talking to your coach this morning, John Boy, and he says you've never looked better. He says you, you look unstoppable. Do you feel that way? Yes, man. I feel great, you know, like this fight. I had a, a long time to adapt to kickbox rules uh, and I could just focus and improve my striking, you know. So I, there's, there's been a lot of improvements and I feel like uh, I'm a totally different fighter than I used to be when I used to fight kickboxing. I'm way better now and I can't wait to be able to show it on this Saturday. Is it actually bad for him that this fight was delayed a month because it's given you an extra month to prepare? I believe I was able to knock him out back then and now I'm still able, I'm still, I'm still going to knock him out now. So it doesn't really matter for me. I'm always ready. I'm always in the gym. I'm always training. I'm always ready to fight. What happened there? Were you annoyed the fight got moved back a month? It was going to be October. Now we're here, same place, but were you ready to go? Yeah, I was ready to go. Everything was planned, but... It is what it is, you know. All right. Your coach told me third round. What are you predicting? Second. Second. Yeah. What do you... I mean, a lot of people think maybe body shot. You know, that's we saw him have problems there with Rod Tang. Is that part of your plan? Yes, the body shots, but there's a lot of more to come. You know, I got a lot of weapons. I got my kicks, I got my knees, I got my punches, and all the, all of those weapons can knock him out. So I, I does, I'm, I'm not going to pick one thing to knock him out, and I'm going to throw everything, and I know eventually I'm going to knock him out. Do you think he's being too cocky, too overconfident? Yes, definitely. <laughs> Is that what a champion should be? I think that's his problem. You know, my problem is to knock him out and show him that he shouldn't be that confident. If it does go five rounds, are you prepared for that? We've seen you do it. We've seen you go the distance. You know, you, you went four with Lineker. You were ready to go five, it looked like. Yeah, I'm ready to go 10 rounds if, it, if I need to. <laughs> All right. I like this. I like this. It's going to be a spectacular fight. Just without predicting result, what are the people going to see? This is a very big fight you know there's a mma champion against a muay thai champion fight for a kickboxing belt we never saw that in one championship you know i think it doesn't get any better than that two very good strikers you know so it's definitely going to be a very entertaining fight and good to watch and if you beat this man are you coming are you going to go for his muay thai title yeah there's a possibility you have a few possibilities don't you you've got yes. you've got an mma defense supposedly i guess against lineker is that something you would take? I know he's supposedly the number one contender, but you've beaten him definitively last time and you were on the way to beating him the first time. Um, I would like to fight somebody else before him, you know. Uh, of course, he's, I'm not saying he, he doesn't deserve it, he deserves it, but I already beat him two times. I think he's, he's one of the toughest uh, fighters on the division, but he cannot beat me, you know. We know that I fought him two times, I beat him two times, I'm going to beat him a third time, but I would be more interested in fighting somebody else and then fight him again. 
do you see a problem if you've got two belts or three belts of staying active in all three divisions or do you think it's easy for you to switch between the different rule sets? I think it's not easy, but that's what makes it very unique, you know, is that I can do that. No many fighters can do that and I can do it. I can change disciplines and adapt to different sports very fast. So that shows that my IQ in striking is very different and shows that I'm a unique athlete as well. All right. Well, there's some more interviews here. I don't want to take any more of your time, <laughs> but uh, just a message for everyone. What's going to happen Saturday morning, Lumpini Stadium? Uh, you're going to see a very entertaining fight. You know, I'm going to bring it on. I'm going to put it on the show for everybody who comes to watch, for everybody that's watching home, for everybody who's been supporting me, all my fans. I'm going to put it on the show for everyone, and I'm going to make it very entertaining for everybody. Don't miss it, everyone. Entertaining it definitely will be. Fabrizio, good luck. We'll see you on Thank Saturday. You. Thank you. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Dom Lau here from One Championship. You are tuned into the best damn martial arts news outlet anywhere in Asia. SCMP Martial Arts, baby. Give them a follow.